Hello and welcome to this presentation. My name is Lee Snyder, the product manager for the Still segment here at Trimble. And what I'll be doing today is showing a quick overview of the new keyboard shortcuts functionality that's available in Tecla Structures version 2016. So to access that, I'm just going to come over here to the file menu, down to settings, and then under the customize section, I have this keyboard shortcuts here. And you can see up here in the group, I can easily isolate my different commands, whether they're drawing, the import model, or modeling commands. And I also have a filter here to filter out any command that I'm looking for. You'll notice here on the left is the name of the command in Tecla Structures, and then on the right is any predefined shortcut. So there are some out-of-the-box shortcuts that are already assigned. I'll show you a list of those here in a minute. You can override those at any time. And if the, of course, anything that's blank here, you can come in and add in your own shortcut. So to show you how these are set, I'll just come in here and filter out a specific command. Maybe this this redraw all command. And then what I can do is just come down here and enter the shortcut. One of the things that's really nice about this is that you're not limited to just one or two characters. You can set up what we call chords or have multiple keys assigned to a specific command. You can either even have doubles. So if you wanted to press L and then press L again, for example, then you could set that up. So what I'll do is just click on enter shortcut. When that turns yellow, then I can just start typing on my keyboard. So I'm just going to type in control shift R. That's a combination of keys that I can press to do this. If there were any conflicts, if I already had a shortcut set up as control shift R, that would show up here. Since there's not, what I'll do is just go ahead and click on assign. And then here I can see that that's instantly been assigned and I can begin using that now within the model. So for example, if I came in here, let's say that I had this beam that was modeled, I'll just delete and hit undo. And then there I can see all of the connection cones and the welds. If I wanted to redraw that, I can just hit Control shift r on my keyboard, and it instantly redraws and updates. So I have immediate access to that shortcut that's been defined. Once I define or customize those shortcuts, those are stored in an XML file on my uh, computer that I can share with other people. For a lot of information on this, there's the Tecla user assistance articles. You have a keyboard shortcut, but it'll take you through the instructions that I just defined here of how to set it up, um, what it will look like. It also shows where these, uh, this XML file is stored. And then as well, there's also a link to any of the default shortcuts. So as you scroll down here, you can see the common commands, the rendering options, selecting op objects, snapping, all that sort of information. So if you wanted to view that, print it, or just see what the existing information was, you can do that. And then of course you can override any of these at any time. So this is a great new benefit available in Tecla Structures version 2016. We'd encourage you to test it out, send us any feedback that you may have, and we hope you enjoy this new development.